<laughs> Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Amen. Okay, um, Randy, would you have a little blessing? Certainly. Heavenly Father, Father, we want to thank you for making this good place good. Help us to eat for strength. Help us to know your good will and do it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Before we eat, uh, why don't we go around the room and around the circle and whoever, uh, you, you can say what you want. This is Thanksgiving time. Uh, and so say what you're thankful for that you'd like to thank mm -hmm. Father in Heaven. Yes, that was what I wanted to do. Go ahead, guys. There's so much to be thankful for. Uh, but uh, for years... I have wanted to pay dad off for the loan on my farm. And I've done, done a lot of ministry work that really hasn't, I mean, I've had enough to eat, but that's it. Nothing, you know, financially, I've just not had nothing. Uh, and so just recently, somebody sent a very sizable donation specifically because they had heard on one of the videos that they wanted to help me pay off my farm. And so I'm very, very grateful for that. And I'm also I'm very thankful for the volunteers that have come with a willing heart, the spirit that's, you know, of working together. Just, you, know, you know, when you have to be at a job because you have all this work that you have to do, and you, feel, you have a di you're in a different mindset than when all these volunteers and they want to be there and they want to help the public health. If you're working because you have to or you're working because you want to, it's a different frame of mind. So I'm just grateful for the moments here. It's been such a blessing. You're next, Dan. Well, what do I say? The Lord is so good to us every day. You know, I figured he'd pay me back when I got to heaven, but, you know, I'm being surprised he's paying me back now. So that means I've got to figure out what good things God wants me to do with that. So I'm thankful to God for His providence and care, and everyone's been very, very generous. And I'm grateful for that. So it's the least we can do to have you over for dinner. I'm grateful to the Most High for this gathering. You know, His working and His people, and His goodness. His goodness is so amazing. Levi or Stephanie. <laughs> I'm thankful that I met the Morrises seven years ago. <laughs> um, I'm thankful for uh, the journeys, the journey I've been on. Uh, it's going to be a long one, but it's been safe. And I stopped at a small town. Well, I went through the small town where I knew someone, and I see him at work on his car. So stop and back up, you know, I was going to go out another couple miles and down the freeway. And he says, no, 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 don't go out through there. It's There's a semi flipped over and it's jammed up for miles. Wow. So I went another way and it's just like the little thing of God uh, providing for me and that he's with me. On this yeah. and, so, and then, of course, I've I'm going to say I met Titus on YouTube. Uh, I don't know when that's been three or four months ago. And when I started planning this trip, it's like this is one place I'm going. So I'm here and I'm still alive. Yeah. Thank God. I'm grateful for having been able to move closer to my family these last 11 years and to spend the last three years of my mom before she passed and to uh, get to know my father more and to spend time with my best friend here have adventures in life i'm just so grateful for the people you know that god and the universe puts in my life right the, we last night we're like maybe we should try driving you know let, let's drive to kentucky <laughs> and to meet wonderful people that invite us into their home shows me that there's so much good in this world and so when we're seeing the things that aren't so good this is this is yeah. the part that's really really good yeah. 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 
I'm thankful for the Lord knowing him and uh, changing my life. <clears throat> and I'm very thankful to meet you folks and inviting us in your house. And um, I feel the Holy Spirit. Um, I'm very thankful for the break. Like Titus said, from the work, from the hustle and the bustle, just to slow my life down a little bit and be able to do something for the Lord. And uh, it's a good cause. It's for real. So mm -hmm. um, people need to know that it's not just for show. So I've really enjoyed my time here. Thankful for our family and our family in Christ that we meet along the way. We meet new people every day and they become part of our family and our friends and our kids and just having a safe trip to go and, and get to do things like this. Amen. You know, we got to um, talk and have prayer with a, a gentleman while we were here that that's not, you know, at, at Titus's, but just when we went to stop to get something to eat the other night and he was such a sweet man, so he's kind of been on my heart, but um, just thankful for those things. Yeah. Um, I'm thankful for the hope of the resurrection. Yes. Amen. Um, I think of my mama. Man. My dad is almost 95. He'll be 95 on the 26th of this month. And I'm thankful that the church that he's involved in is very supportive of him. And they're planning a birthday party for him. Even though I can't be there. And I'm so, I'm so grateful that God has taken care of my daddy and my brother in western Colorado. Amen. Well, we prayed, so you're welcome to get a plate and mm -hmm. to begin mm -hmm. the filling it yeah. up with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm take the camera through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got salad. Won't you go first? Oh, man. Since you help prepare. And there's yeah. apple crisp and um, banana carrot smoothies for dessert. Oh, so. right. Let's see what's in here. Mm -hmm. Gravy. Mm -hmm. Stuffing. I think this is chickpeas, sweet potato fries. Thank you, Brenda. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> oh yes, and then the dessert is apple crisp, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Keisha made it. Very nice. Yeah. This is frozen bananas uh, put through a champion juicer. Um, I'll show the, you the attachment. So some of you may be familiar with a Champion Juicer. So if you're juicing with it, it'll have a cover that has holes for like juicing carrots or beets. But for this, you put the closed, the solid piece in, and then the machine grinds it up, and it's the consistency of like ice cream. So it's just frozen bananas with carob powder added to it and some roasted peanuts also ground up in it. So, uh, growing up, we never had ice cream like the regular dairy ice cream, but uh, we would make this a treat like on Sabbath or Sabbath evening. Um, every so often we would make uh, this, we called it like banana ice cream. If you put roasted almonds in <clears throat> with the bananas and grind it up, that's the best. This has peanuts in it, which is good too. But um, no, no sugar added, and just like ice cream, delicious. <laughs>